you guys. Welcome to Living a Country and welcome to my home. <laughs> Today we're gonna be touring our DIY modern kind of rustic farmhouse home and sharing with you guys our favorite five affordable DIY projects in our home that we absolutely love and I think would be a great option for your guys' homes too if you're looking for an awesome DIY project. So I would like to thank today's sponsor, Native, for partnering with us on today's video. So before we get started, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about them. I've been a customer of Native for almost two years now and started off by buying their coconut and vanilla scent because I was looking for something super yummy and this one specifically smells like a super yummy, dreamy vacation. I also was looking for something that was aluminum free, paraben free, and sulfate free and this one just happens to also be vegan and cruelty free too. I use my native deodorant every single day and I especially love it before doing a major DIY project like the ones that I'm sharing today. Some benefits of their deodorant is it's non-sticky, it dries quick, and it's perfect for on the go too. The ones I got in my latest package are citrus herbal musk and that's perfect perfect for the special man in your life. I got pumpkin spice latte, which smells just like it sounds, and my new favorite, which is the butter cream and French vanilla. It is your go-to yummy smell. There is free shipping to the US. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link in the description box below and code country, you'll get them for $24 and that's 33% off. And again, thank you to Native for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and tour our home. If you guys are like me and love budget-friendly DIY projects, make sure you guys watch till the end of this video because I give a lot of awesome tips so you guys can have a custom feeling home just like us. So I wanna start off with DIY number one, which is probably my favorite. We're gonna be doing this again. So we have two tutorials on our channel. Make sure you guys check those out, but it's these beautiful DIY custom rustic beams. These are hollow and they're made out of one by six lumber and we absolutely love them. The one in our kitchen area cost about $35 to DIY. So they were a little bit more with these but we love them. We're actually gonna be putting them right in our living room over here on our 22 foot ceilings, which is awesome. And it adds a little bit of character, a little bit of warmth. And we love doing that, especially in a home that's super, super white. So I'm gonna share with you guys in a little bit how we added some color to this space, but I wanna take you guys into my office, which is one of my favorite places that is decorated because we have shelves. So this is a DIY, custom built-in that my husband built. And we did this super affordably. We actually saved up a bunch of receipts over time and we used our Fetch Rewards app. So we were able to get a bunch of gift cards from Home Depot. So that's how we did this. And I also have an awesome hack on how to save shiplap, but we have so much shiplap around the house. So um, I'm gonna share with you guys that in a little bit. But I love having just some of my favorite pieces in this room because it's right when you walk in, and I also love looking at it while I'm working, so I always have my little chat books, I have my favorite pictures of my family, and then some of my favorite chippy wood signs. So this is kind of a space where you'll, where you'll see like a mixture of um, authentic vintage finds, like over here, I have my little stove, and I love adding antique pieces as well as new pieces and kind of making it my own feel. And if you guys want to see a little bit more of how I get inspired for my home, that's actually why I started my YouTube channel of the home tour series, was a way for me to get inspired, as well as you guys with different styles and things like that. So if you guys haven't seen our home tour series, make sure you guys check that out. It's pretty fun, it's pretty inspiring, and I love sharing that with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the living room, share some more DIY projects, and let's go ahead and head in there. So the first one I wanna share with you guys in the living room is a really new DIY project. I can't even believe we did this one. And it was, we did this shiplap, uh, not wall, but kitchen island. And not only did we do this, but we painted it green. A bar, not an island, a bar. And so we painted this green and it's not gonna show up on camera as much. No, it is showing up really well. It's showing the different it's color? Different color green. Okay. It does match, it's the lighting. It matches actually really well in person. The lighting does not do justice. <laughs> so um, I have gotten a few questions on that and it looks amazing in real life, people. So 
Not in the dark. So in the dark, in the dark, well, in the dark, it looks good. Yes, but it looks amazing. We love this. And it was kind of a way to spice up that traditional farmhouse feel, which is a ton of white. And I love white because it's clean looking. It's beautiful, but there needs to be some pops of color. So I'm kind of going for that green and then that brown touch as well as white because I like that. So, and the green really goes well with like faux plants. I guess if you had real plants too, but I love the green. I love, love, love the green. So this was a DIY project that transformed the space and it was under, you know, $40 to paint it. So really affordable DIY project that anybody can do. So we're gonna move along and I love this space in our home. So as you guys can see, our home is really empty because it's right after Christmas. Our decor is away and we've been busy DIYing our house and then my mom's house. So over here, we're actually gonna be doing a fireplace which is exciting. My husband's really excited about it too. And <laughs> we're gonna be doing shelves. That's gonna be really fun. We're just waiting on the fireplace. But over here is our DIY board and batten. And this is a really inexpensive DIY project to do. There are so many tutorials on YouTube. We shared one, but I know there's probably people who have done it multiple times over and over. So this is a really affordable one, but it does take, it took us quite a few weekends to accomplish, right? It's because we were doing trim and other stuff too. Yeah, we were doing this DIY trim right here. We call this our farmhouse trim. I'm not exactly sure what the craftsmen. craftsmen, I call it the farm. Everything for me is farmhouse, farmhouse. So we love this DIY board and batten. We're actually, I think gonna continue. We did it down this hallway right here. And I think we're gonna continue it underneath our Ambro homestead sign over here. Um, to finish it off because this, oh yeah, here's our little hallway right over here. We need some sort of picture down this hallway, some sort of family photo, but this is where our master bedroom is, our pantry, and then our laundry room, and then our garage that leads up to my husband's office. So, so many doors here. There's not a lot of um, space for anything on the walls, but we'll figure out something. Over here on this shiplap wall, this is actually gonna be, I think a place where we either put a mirror or some sort of family photo. I like to balance, I love family photos, but I like to balance it to make sure that it's not too many photos. Um, so I do have a little mini gallery wall over there with my chippy wood frames from Wood, um, Weathered Wood Home. And so I love using those because it adds that old element and she makes those chippy wood signs so, so cute. So she started making frames and I'm obsessed. Now, if you guys have been waiting for my shiplap hack, I've shared it in so many videos, but I love sharing it with you guys because it's really, really awesome. So if you guys have a local hardware store that has a damaged wood section, or they just have extra shiplap that's damaged in their wood section, you guys can actually ask for a discount. Home Depot, our Home Depot at least has done up to 70% off. So my husband and I always try to look at the damaged wood section, grab a piece of shiplap and save it over time. And that's how we're able to do a lot of our shiplap projects on budget. I know that right now a lot of popular ones is like Sharpie shiplap and different things like that, but you can also do real shiplap on a budget, you guys without um, doing it that way. So you guys could do it the real way still on a budget. So that's another tip for you guys on that. So, I mean, that's also for all sorts of lumber too. So in a damaged wood section might just be, or damaged piece of wood might just be the edge being cracked or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the kitchen area, which you guys already know, my whole house is just open concept. So you see everything from every angle, but we did this subway tile and I absolutely love it, especially with our farmhouse sink. And this was a really affordable option because we don't have a lot of subway tile in our kitchen. Actually, if our whole island bar area was all the way down, we wouldn't have even needed this at all. And it would have just been that little section and this little section right here. So we like to keep it really simple in our kitchen because it can get kind of messy. This is like the main space of our home. And so um, we like to keep it really clean. Clean as in like not a bunch of decor. So that is some of our tips for having a beautiful home on a budget with DIY projects. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss out on another video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
trust into us and we will help you through cause we only want what's best what's best